Hey guys, welcome this week. I'm uh, again. I'm going to stick with uh, showing you guys types of different instruments. Especially, I like the instruments that we use here in the classroom. Um, one one type of instrument that we use a lot is our mallet percussion, or part of our pitch percussion instruments. So I'm going to show you the three types that we have here in class, and then uh, for the assignment, you just you know, I'll I'll show you a picture of each, and you got to label which ones they are. Okay. So let me sit you down here. Right here. Okay, so the first type we have, this one is called the xylophone. Now I have three different sizes of them. I'm sorry it cuts off my head here for the picture, but you can see this guy. Um, the biggest characteristic that you see in, this, in the xylophones here are the bars are made of wood. Okay, so out of all three types that we have here, um, the xylophone is the only one that is made up of wooden bars. Now, the uh, the cool thing I like to show, I don't know if you could see it as well, when, but I'll, I'll bring this closer to the, to the camera, is that the way they do these is this one, the, the note that comes along with this guy is a G. Now, they actually, once they cut these guys out, they actually have to tune them. So they cut out the basic shape of these guys, and then they'll check it with a tuner, and then they, they basically make them slightly larger than they need to be because then they will slowly take off material to get the pitch exactly where they want to be. And you can see right here in the back, like we have this hole where it mounts to the instrument, but they have these three holes here. And you can also kind of see a little bit some of the shadowing here that they, they take away material in, in this bar to get it exactly the pitch that they need which is, is very time consuming because every single one of them is different. And that's why these instruments uh, aren't cheap, but uh, it makes it really nice. Now these guys use mallets and then over top of, I assume is a rubber ball under here is they put yarn around there. Now, uh, when I have these guys play it, I'll say you're gonna hold them here like this and you're gonna turn them into handlebars and then they'll, they'll play them. Now the xylophone's got a very warm uh, non-sustained note that goes along with it. Uh, it's just really pretty. And then, you know, the different sizes of the, you know, the bigger ones, and I'll turn you guys right here. This guy right here is our bass xylophone, okay? Same idea is that you have the big wooden bars, um, and then the, typically the, uh, the students will stand up to play these. Um, I can manage them here from my knees, but then this guy, the big rule of thumb with instruments, guys, the bigger the instrument, the lower the notes. So that's really cool. So that's the bass xylophone. Now, I'm going to pick you guys up. We're going to go to the other side of the room over here because I have two more types over on this side, okay? So remember, wooden bars, xylophone. Okay, so here, you see right here we have our other smaller xylophone, but still wooden bars. All right, so our next type that we're going to be looking at right here is this one here and this one. Now, aside from the bars, these guys look fairly identical to the xylophone. Here's a big thing. The mallets are plastic. They're using string around them, but the biggest, biggest difference is that these bars are made of metal, okay? Now, they're still a basic shape. They got the little hump there. And this one, it's a little bit easier to see where you can see them taking off like material right here to get this thing perfectly in tune. And that's why I try to tell the kids, if you hit the, if you hit the sticks here and you dent this or you dent one of the wooden ones in particular, that's gonna actually change the pitch of the bar. Um, all right, so for this guy, the big characteristic with the metallophones is they have more of a sustained pitch. Like, if you hear the, the xylophone, after you hit it, the sound pretty much stops. You know what I mean? So there's no sustain. That's what I mean. Sustained is just a prolonged pitch. Now, with the metallophones, hear that sound keeps going. And it has a, a little damper that I can put up a little bit closer, so stop it. Typically when we're playing these guys, we're just, and then that just continues to go. Okay. So that's, that's one. And then this guy next to us is also a smaller version. I want to, I believe this is a, a, an alto. 
I'd have to double check which ones I have, but I believe this one's an Alto Metallophone. And then this guy doesn't have that built-in damper, but it's just... And every time I sit by an instrument, the kids move, can you go... It's always the song they want to hear. All right, so we have these guys. The two are metallophones. Easy to remember because it's like the xylophones, but with the metal or metallic uh, bars. All right, so then we have these newer ones that we got just recently. And uh, at a quick glance, you're like, oh, they, uh, they look like metallophones. But these are slightly different, okay? First of all, they're very small. And these guys are made of metal, but they're just very, very thin. There's none, they don't have that hump here. And one of the biggest differences is in the mallets. So you see this, the mallets we've been using, whether it be for the xylophone or whether for metallophones, uh, they've been using string or yarn wrapped around what I assume is a, a, a rubber ball of sorts, okay? But for these guys, this guy is called a, one of my favorite, uh, music terms ever, a glockenspiel. Glockenspiel. Fun word to say. Um, Alright, so our mallets for the glockenspiels uh, are wooden wooden uh, sticks, but they have a hard plastic end to the mallet. So these guys are going to sound, you know, smaller, so you're going to have the higher notes, but it's going to sound more like bells. So this is our glockenspiel. Really cool. So they have a little bit of a sustain to them, but it's going to sound more of like a bell. All right, so review. We have the ones with the wooden bars. Those are our xylophones. You guys can see behind me here my wall of ukulele. So the ones with the wooden bells, they're going to be the xylophones. You know, different sizes, but still xylophones. We have the metal bar ones over here, and those are going to be our metallophones. So made of metal. And then they have more of a sustain, but still use the yarn or rope uh, mallets. And then what we just showed you right here is this little glockenspiel. Very fun to say. Uh, those are our metal bars. They have the hard plastic mallets, and they sound more like bells. So easy assignment, aside from learning about these guys, is uh, I'll have a picture of each type. And you got a label. I'll put I'll put together uh, at the top of the Microsoft form. I'll put the the three different names, and then you can use that as a word bank. Um, Corey, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. Stay safe.